Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make these pinwheel pizza rolls. These are easy to do, they're pretty simple, uh, only take you a few minutes to make them, and you're going to love them. So keep watching and see step by step how to make these. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some croissants. Now this is just a seamless dough croissant. You can use this, the ones with seams, it's just easier to cut this way. So I'm going to open this up. You can use puff pastry if you don't have croissants like this where you're from. And I'm laying it out on some parchment paper here. I'm just going to open this up here. So I put some more parchment paper over top of it. This is going to make it easier when I'm using my roller so it doesn't stick to the roller. Now you can of course flour it a little bit if you wish, but I just find this to work a little better. And you just want to make this a little more thinner than it is. It doesn't have to be too thin. And I just think the, uh, the size it comes in is a little too thick for what I need to do. Next what we're going to do is I'm just going to take some tomato sauce. Now this is just like regular old tomato sauce. Uh, you can use the actual kind that's specific for pizza if you want. But I just find this will work fine. You just want to cover your dough. And you don't want to go all the way to the edge, you just want to go about a quarter inch from the edge. And you just want to smooth it out and kind of have a nice even surface of sauce. Now this is optional, I'm using some Romano cheese. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that and then I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese on here. Next, you can just take some mozzarella and sprinkle some mozzarella on here. Now, you don't want to overdo it. I know I like cheese and I would love to have a lot of mozzarella on here, but we're going to roll these up and they can't have too much cheese on them or else it will not make it easy to roll up. Let's put it that way. Okay, so if you just want cheese pizza, you can stop right here and roll them up. I'm going to put some pepperonis on here. But I'm going to cut them up a little bit. I'm going to cut them into about fours first. So I'm just going to slice my pepperonis up a little bit. Okay, so you just take your, your pepperonis that you've cut up and diced up a bit and you just spread them throughout your pizza. Now that that's done, what we can do is we can take this and we're going to roll this up and I'm going to do it this way, long ways. And the easiest thing, since we did this on some parchment paper, we can take the parchment paper and start it off by rolling it that way. And kind of just separate the dough from the, the paper. And once you start it, it should be a lot easier to get going. And now that we have that done, what I'm going to do is cut them up and I'm only going to cut them about an inch apart. The first couple I'm just going to set aside, maybe a half inch to an inch and just cut them. And take it and put it on a baking sheet. Okay, so now for egg wash, I just put an egg in here with a little bit of water. I'm just going to mix this up really good. And what I'm going to do is just brush some on here. This is going to make it nice and crispy when we put it in the oven. So now right before we put them in the oven, I'm going to top them with a little bit more cheese. So after 15 minutes at 375 degrees, this is what they look like. I'm just going to let these cool a bit and then we're going to plate them and eat them. And now for the taste test. Mm. It's good. Now I like a lot of cheese on my uh, pizza. So for me, 
It's not terrific because it doesn't have all that cheese, but we can't put a lot of cheese on these. So it's up to you, your own preference. Maybe you can douse it a little bit more when it comes out of the oven with a whole bunch more cheese. That might help if you're like me. Well, thanks everyone for watching to see how to make these pinwheel pizzas. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. You get new videos every week. Be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And be sure to check back later on this week because I plan on doing a couple of vlog style videos because I'll be at Playlist Live later on this week. And I will be sharing those videos sometime during the week. So it's not a scheduled time yet, so they're kind of bonus videos for you. And if you're going to be at Playlist Live, be sure to stop by and say hello to me. I'll be on a panel on a Saturday the 23rd, so stop in, say hello. And until then, guys, I will see you guys next week.